A gigantic black hole changed course and is now pointing in our direction. Science is astonished and intrigued by this unexpected phenomenon. It is a phenomenon that has never been observed by astronomers in the cosmos. Due to the change in the core's jet direction, even the classification of the galaxy hosting this supermassive black hole has changed. This finding might open the door to novel understandings of black hole physics, particularly high-energy physics, which studies the behavior of subatomic particles at very high energies. However, the question is, how did astronomers learn that the black hole had altered its course? How the rare energetic jets are initially created? Last but not least, does the flip endanger the world in any way? It's crucial to understand the differences between an AGN, a quasar, and a blazer before diving into the finding. An extremely bright, compact region in the galaxy's core known as an active galactic nucleus, or AGN, emits radiation throughout the whole electromagnetic spectrum. Material entering the accretion disk, a swirling circle of gas and dust surrounding the galaxy's central black hole, causes the AGN to emit tremendous radiation. The AGN's host galaxy is referred to as an active galaxy, and its nucleus is the central feature. Relativistic jets are a distinguishing characteristic of AGNs. When material does not fall straight into a black hole, certain particles experience high-speed acceleration due to a powerful magnetic field, which causes an outflow of ionized matter that travels along the black hole's axis of rotation. Due to synchrotron radiation, this often emits radio waves generating twin narrow beams of high-energy particles known as jets that can stretch outside of the galaxy. These jets produce two structures that resemble lobes and are perpendicular to the accretion disk on the opposing edges. We refer to these twin jets as radio galaxies if they are shooting straight up in the plane of the sky as seen from our planet. We refer to them as quasars if they are somewhat inclined towards us. Finally, we designate these aircraft as blazers if they are orientated in our line of sight and are pointing in our direction. These jets are intriguing because they confirm an important special relativity theory prediction. Relativistic beaming explains that prediction. Any source that is traveling towards us will appear brighter than any source that is moving away from us because to this effect. As a result, a jet that is roughly directed in our direction will appear brighter since its particles are getting closer to us. On the other hand, when the jet's particles move away from us, it will appear fainter. Take the M87 galaxy as an example. Its 5000 light year long jet, which is pointed in our direction, is visible. Special relativity governs the properties of the matter inside this jet since it is moving at speeds that are very close to the speed of light. The galaxy does, however, also have another jet that is pointed away from us. This jet's intensity decreases as a result of relativistic beaming, making it less noticeable and more challenging to view. In contrast, both jets at 3C31 are positioned almost perpendicular to our line of sight and within the plane of the sky. Because both jets are visible, it is categorized as a radio galaxy. The higher jet appears brighter because it is slightly tilted in our direction. Astronomers were shocked by this finding despite the fact that they had long studied AGN jets. They noticed the black hole's jet changing directions for the first time ever in recorded astronomical history. A galaxy with a jet that changed directions was uncovered by an international team of researchers. At a redshift of 0.047, the galaxy is about 657 million light-years distant. Let's call it PBC for the purpose of simplicity in the video. The galaxy and its jets are classified as a big radio galaxy because they extend around 1.2 megaparsecs, or about 4 million light-years, according to the radio map from the Very Large Array Observatory. Astronomers examined the AGN's light curves at various wavelengths to study the emission's behavior in order to make this discovery. Plots of flux over time are essentially what light curves are. 
They discovered that the AGN's core had three flare episodes during two observation periods in 2018 and 2019, which are radiation outbursts that might have been brought on by the restart of nuclear activity in the core. Three key indicators suggested that the black hole's jets had turned around and were now headed in our direction. The blazer's optical fluctuation provided the first hint. The term optical variability refers to variations in peak flux and amplitude in the visible waveband. PBC's optical variability was consistent with the blazer population when compared to other blazers and AGNs. Due to the possibility of blazers being categorized as AGNs during their non-flaring periods, the two groups overlap. Despite this commonality, PBC shares many characteristics with the blazer population. Finding the jet angle the angle of the jet with respect to the observer's line of sight led to the discovery of the second hint. Astronomers developed a number of models with varied jet angles to match the findings by analyzing the spectral energy distribution of PBC. The model with a 3-degree jet angle was the only one of them that corresponded with the results. According to the preceding discussion, the AGN is classified as a blazer when the jet angle is 3 degrees, which indicates that the jet is almost pointing in our direction. Examining the lobes and the nucleus yielded the third and last hint. The middle circular portion of the radio image of the PBC galaxy is the AGN's nucleus, while the two regions diagonally across from it are the lobes. The absence of a connection between the lobes and the nucleus suggests that radiation from the core is not reaching the lobes. Accordingly, the light curves and three-degree jet angle correspond to a new pair of jets, whereas the observed lobes are thought to be the remains of older jets. According to the radio vision, the old pair of jets were in the sky's plane. Consequently, the three-degree jet angle denotes a shift in the direction of the jets. What caused the aircraft direction to alter is currently the most important question. While the precise cause of the jet's course change is still unknown, various theories have been put forth. A category of radio galaxies known as X-shaped or winged radio galaxies contains two pairs of jets that nearly resemble a X, form in the plane of the sky. The older jet ejections are represented by the radio lobe pairs that are misaligned, whereas the more recent and active jets are represented by the radio lobe pairs that are closer to the core. It's possible that the new jets are aimed at us because the PBC galaxy doesn't show an X shape. Changes in jet direction may be caused by black hole mergers or the engulfment of a smaller galaxy, according to earlier studies of X-shaped galaxies. The smaller black hole gets deposited close to the larger one during a merger, which causes the larger black hole to absorb or incorporate the smaller black hole's angular momentum. The spin axis of the larger black hole gets realigned as a result of this operation. Even though this hypothesis might be strong, a 2017 investigation of the PBC galaxy found no proof of merging processes. The resumption of nuclear activity, during which the jet axis precesses, the inflow of gas along the active lobes into the core, and the warping instability of the accretion disk are other potential factors for the realignment of the jet direction. Additional thorough research may offer explanations for this unusual jet realignment event. Last but not least, given that its jet is pointing in our way, does this system represent any threat to us? No, is the response. The radiation from these intense jets will not affect us until a distance that is equal to 41.5 trillion times the separation between the Sun and Earth. This is because redshift will cause the radiation to lose all of its energy as it travels across such a wide space to reach. Hence there is no cause for concern.